Hello and welcome to Kelly Legends Media. I'd like to thank the people have, who, that have subscribed to my channel thus far. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to be notified whenever a new video gets dropped, hit that little notification bell. And then whenever a video's dropped, you'll be notified and you could go back and watch it whenever you get a chance. Before I get started, I, I'd like to uh, say something. Um, I'd like to send my congratulations to everybody who has a child that's graduating. I think that's a very big accomplishment, not only for, for the child, but also for the parent. I'd like to mention Mooney from Eloyo Maravilla and his son Rhino, who uh, graduated this uh, weekend. And I'd like to send my congratulations out to them. Okay, so today's video is based on a conversation that I had with somebody today. It was about a loved one that got dealt with on a yard for owing money. And he was injured really bad. Not only had he been shot all kinds of times, I mean, this guy, this guy got... He was riddled with bullet holes. Been shot several times. Uh, he got himself in some trouble and and he got he got stabbed several times. And when that happened to him, nobody went out to the yard with him. You know, it, it was already it was already known that you know his time was up and and he had something coming and nobody went out to support him and there was homeboys on the yard and the sad truth is that's what you could expect because in most cases in almost every case when uh, when you're going to get moved on whether it's it's a uh, uh, you're going to get boobop or or uh meaning you're going to get uh beat down or if you're going to get stabbed you fall out of grace somehow for some reason nobody's going to support you man nobody's going to go out there nobody's going to have your back you know there's been uh several occasions when when people get dealt with and, uh, you know, everybody's writing with them. Everybody's, like, with them on what they're saying and everything. But when it really comes down, they're left hanging all alone, man. And uh, they find themselves very, very much alone when the bell rings and, and, and the melee starts, you know? I've heard this story over and over and over again. I've, I've heard it on YouTube. I've heard it from people that it happened to, you know. So as far as expecting like uh, your perro, your, you know, your, your dogs, <laughs> your homies, <laughs> trust me, you'll be left alone. And, and if not, I'd be very, very much surprised. It's very rare that uh, somebody rides with you. And, and, and if somebody does, usually it's your Sally, you know? And, and I'm talking about when your own race is dealing with you. I'm not talking about when you get into it with somebody. Because your biggest threat in prison, as far as a raza goes, biggest threat is a raza. We hurt more, more of our own people, I think, than any other race, you know? What I mean by hurting them, I'm talking about poking holes in them and, and, and removing them from the yards for reasons sometimes that, that don't even really involve them, you know? If there's a takeover on the yard, you know, somebody sent it to take over the yard and, uh, you know, people are trying to clear things up to find out if it's a legit a legit call and the guy just uh he has orders 
hey, you go over there and you, you take take over the yard and, and if you have any uh, pushback, get rid of everybody. And, and yeah, everybody's going to get, uh, not just the person that has a yard, sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll take out the whole mess on. And uh, then the guy will set up his own his own mesa. They don't have the mesa system no more. Obviously, they don't need it anymore, because everybody that uh, in charge is is there themselves to manage uh, the yards themselves now. But before, when they had the mesa system, a lot a lot of good homies were were lost because uh, you know because of because of the way uh, things are are handled, the way things are managed. You know, they didn't snitch. They didn't, uh, they didn't PC up, you know. No, they got stabbed off the yard. And, uh, it's all bad, you know. It, prison, I don't care what anybody says, man. Like, I hear this, that people go to uh, Pelican Bay and they walk in there and they feel like, hey, man, I finally made it. <laughs> made it to what? Made it to where? You know? Like, man, that's not an accomplishment. That's a complete failure, you know. And and I'm being honest about it, you know. I know I know people are gonna get mad. People are gonna be like, you know, ah, you don't know me, you know. Nah, being in prison's a failure, you know. Um, going to jail's a failure. And anybody who thinks different is is confused and misled. You know, uh, th those aren't accomplishments. Accomplishments are, are graduating, uh, get, getting a career, getting uh, some type, type of training, you know, uh, and then using that training and applying it in a career. It, it's not going to prison and making it to to Pelican Bay or Corcoran. Or, no, man, that's that's a fail. You know, and, and all I'm doing, I'm speaking truth, you know, and whoever sees this, yeah, you could get mad and you, you, but you're not thinking right if you don't agree, man, you know, being successful and accomplishing things is when you taking care of your family. If you got kids, you're taking care of your kids, you know, you're being a father, you're, you're, you're managing your own home, you know, you got a roof over your head, you know, um, Anyways, I can't say enough to try to uh, deter people, not just kids, just people in general, uh, as far as hanging on to our freedom and being out here where, where we have everything, you know? Being a success is not going back to prison. If you get out, be successful and stay out and and uh and do the do the do the damn thing you know let's get our kids graduating and going to college you know uh mooney from Meloyo mentioned to me that his son will be going to college those are the plans for the future and, and that's righteous i give i give mooney a lot of credit and all you fathers out there and mothers out there that have kids that are going to going to school graduating and moving on in life going to college or or going going and getting some job training or, or joining the service, whatever, whatever path, you know, uh, in life they choose. You know, I, I, I commend all of you and, and congratulate all of you very, very much. Okay, so on, on one of my last videos, I, I had said three words. And I, I kind of challenged uh, who would answer first and get all three correct. And I, I just only scrolled through my comments. I didn't have time to read each and every one and, and nail down who was first. But I'm going to do that first thing. Okay. But a lot of people had the answer. And the answers were calcos. Yeah, the shoes. The alisas was the shirt. And the tramals are the pants. And that's just something that, that I had learned long, long time ago. And it, it just kind of popped in my head before I did the video. And I thought it'd be fun doing that. And uh, just, I like bringing back some memories once in a while. Anyways, if uh, you watch this video to the end, I want to thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment and uh, like this video, share it. If, for anybody that 
thinks it, it might be useful to somebody, share the video. And uh, and thank you very much for watching. And I, again, man, I thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I, I'm very, very humble. It's a new channel, and it's growing every day. And I, I'm really happy about that. Thank you very much. Let's stay free. Let's stay out here. And let's do our thing out here and be here for our, our family and our loved ones. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you on the next video.